up guys, Caleb here from Aylesworth Razors. Welcome back to the channel. It is December 1st, and in the spirit of the holidays, I'm going to be doing a very special Christmas shave. For the soap, this just came in. That is Christmas Cabin by McDuff Soap Company. For the brush, I know it's not really Christmas colors, but uh, it matched with the Christmas Cabin. That is the beautiful Odyssey brush by Trotter Handcrafts. And for the razor, our brand new holiday release. That is the All Brass 360 Copper Cant Razor by Galesworth Razors. All right, so let's uh, talk about this Christmas cabin first. So this is by McDuff Soap Company. There's the pour. It's a very, very soft soap if you haven't used it before. Be careful if you tub lather because it can be easy to overload. I scoop, so not a problem. This went for about $22 Canadian, um, I think around 19 or 20 US. So the, the difference there wasn't that big of a difference because it's a Canadian seller. That's Sean out of Alberta, Canada, I think. McDuff's Soap Company is one of my favorite soap makers at this point. I must have nine or 10 McDuff soaps. Um, really wanted to grab one of his seasonal offerings. He had three this year. He had Candy Cane, Bad Santa, and Christmas Cabin. I ended up getting Candy Cane and Christmas Cabin. I passed on the Bad Santa just because some of the tobacco and other notes sounded very similar to a lot of other things I have in my den. So I wanted to go her The ones that seemed a little bit less edgy and just more festive and more seasonal. Christmas Cabin, if we just look at the artwork there, it's got that beautiful, nice, cozy cabin in, you know, it looks like Alaska or something or Northern BC on the edge of a frozen lake. And, um, you know, as with the whole cabin series, it's not meant to be um, capture a literal fragrance of like what a Christmas cabin smells like so much as it is meant to invoke the spirit of, you know, that warm, inviting place in the midst of a, a frozen kind of wintry wasteland and that, that feeling that it gives you. The scent notes are very warm indeed. Um, in the top, there's cocoa butter first. Then a few woods, um, evergreen, I think it's evergreen or something. Yeah, I think it was evergreen, evergreen trees, pine needles or something like that. Um, then you had cashmere wood and balsam wood. In the middle, there was oud, spice, and cardamom. So getting warmer towards the middle. And then in the bottom, you have patchouli, santal, and musk. So more warm, kind of spicy notes in the bottom too. And I will say the scent strength isn't super strong. I would put it at medium to low medium. Feel a slight bit of that kind of butteriness from the cocoa butter, but it's not very strong cocoa or anything. I get some of those nice woods coming through, the cashmere and the balsam. The evergreen sort of pine is subtle. It's not very strong. It's not like really strong Christmas tree fragrance or anything, but it's there. And then of course the warm spicy notes of oud, cardamom, patchouli, santal. And you know, I do like this fragrance. I'm a fan. Right now, just, you know, my first application on the face, I would say I wish it was a little bit stronger. It's a bit mild for my taste in the soap. However, most of McDuff's 
Splashes have a lot of staying power. And so I'm really interested to see how that fragrance carries over once I put the splash on the face. The base is a great base, lathers up really, really nicely. Like I said, it's a softer base. So don't overload. If you tub load, but it can really take a lot of water and it works up a very, very nice lather. I find myself saying that all the time, but all of these new artists and bases really are like that. And to be honest, if it wasn't, I probably wouldn't enjoy it. And then I probably just wouldn't post the video because my take is, you know, if you don't have good things to say, then don't say anything. So you'll only ever see a positive review from me, or at least not an overly negative one, maybe with the exception of War from uh, Barristan Man from that Four Horsemen. But um, yeah, usually you won't see anything negative from me. And that doesn't mean I think everything is positive. It just means that if I don't really have much good to say, I'd rather not post it. Always have good things to say about McDuff soaps though. The fragrances are some of the more rich, complex, unique, and interesting ones that I've come across. And lathering it up for the second pass there, I will say um, I noticed some of those woods coming through even more, uh, especially the evergreen. I just got some of that nice, fresh, kind of green, pine sappy fragrance, and it really started to even more so channel that feeling of like kind of a winter forest wonderland. And then, you know, and then the spicy notes started to come back in. Okay, so talking about the razor here. If you haven't seen the update, this is the Copper Cant. This is the spiritual successor to our flagship stainless steel Drecant. Um, it's the same shape geometry as the original, so 0 0.37, 0 0.73 millimeter blade gap and a neutral exposure. However, there have been a few changes. The top cap has had the slot removed, so it's now flat on top. Um, we've removed the scalloping from the safety bar, so it is now just a solid bar. And we also rounded out the safety bar a little bit, so that's going to just give a slight bump in uh, blade exposure on the bottom side and open up the angle, um, the optimal cutting angle, just a little bit. And um, perhaps the biggest change was the handle. You can see here, it's got that trademark Dracant sort of knurling at the top where you'll normally grip it, but you can slide down here if you wanna do longer strokes and grip it from the taper in the middle. And then of course, we've got the um, trademark sort of flutes here as well. And the matching brass inkwell stand. We're using a first use Wisimet Super Iridium blade. And as you can see, if you notice, or if you want to go back and look at the top of the video, once again, I was quite unshaven. I haven't shaved since, I want to say Saturday, and today is Thursday. So I'm working through, you know, a good five days worth of growth with this, with a Wisimet locked in already quite smooth I'm just going through pass number two and three you know because I'm enjoying myself and for the 
ritual. But I could probably call it done here. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and say that the original Kafferkant Trikant geometry can reliably get you to 100% BBS on five days worth of growth in one pass. That's a little bit much, but it certainly took down that five or six days worth of growth without a problem and it is a very, very smooth ride. For those of you who aren't familiar with the original Dracon, it is a very, very smooth shaving razor, milder feeling, but with, as you can see, a pretty solid level of cutting power and efficiency, especially given just how smooth it is. There aren't very many analogous razors for me to compare it to. I've had some people say, you know, it's um, maybe comparable to a Tatara Masamune Nodachi, um, although more efficient. And uh, I just did like a, a check in between videos there and I didn't even need that third pass. I just did um, you know a, a little little pickup here under the jaw that's my trouble spot right in this little divot here every time but that was it. Um, I'm, I'm BBS in two passes with uh, the Wizomet locked in and the copper cans. All right so let's try this Christmas cabin splash. Mmm. I'm loving the smell of that already, just off the bottle there. It's got a nice kind of milky pour to it. Never check if it's witch hazel or not, but this looks and feels like witch hazel. No alcohol sting or anything. Very just watery and skin foody. And wow, yeah, those evergreen notes, the woods and the cocoa butter too come through more in the splash. The spices are there too. I'm picking up the Santal, maybe some of, the, some of the patchouli, not too much, but the oud is there. Much more punch, much more staying power, or I can't say staying power because I don't know how long it's gonna last, but the sen strength is definitely a lot higher in the splash. This is like bold and banging, it's, it's up in the seven, eight territory. And I really like it. This I was pick. This is what I was picking up in the soap, but it just wasn't at that strength. You know that was really making me get that wintry vibe. It is there on the splash. So um, really loving this. It smells like that picture, especially with the splash. It's like you put that on your face. Just imagine being out in the wilderness with like white fir trees and pine trees all around in the blistering snow and then coming in and smelling warm gingerbread cooking or something like that sitting down next to the fire that's what that smells like and um i love it the uh copper camp this is my first time using the production version um i've used it a couple times and just like live shaves and whatnot but um i think this might be my first time using it on that much growth that was a lot Go back and look at the beginning of the video. I was like just fur everywhere. And two passes took took down five, six days worth of growth to like BBS. So um, I'm gonna partially credit that wisdom at blade too. That's like a feather to me, but it's like it's like as efficient as a feather, but more comfortable. So um awesome pairing there. If you do happen to pick one of these up, get yourself some wisdom at blades because that was a really good shave. Um, so yeah, that's it. Oh, some other uh, notes about this, just in case you were curious, uh, were interested in picking this up. I'm recording this today on the Thursday. This is going to drop on Monday the 5th, and you're going to hear it here first. There's actually going to be a doorbuster chance 
to win a prize. The first 20 people to pick up the Copper Camp Razor are gonna get a free inkwell stand. This retails for $35. If you get it with the razor bundled together, that is uh, $125 for the two of them and $99 just for the razor. But if you buy the razor for $99, if you're one of the first 20, you get the stand for free. So that's like 25% off or something like that. 20% off the bundle. Whatever it is, it's a good deal. You get a free stand. So um, you're not going to want to miss that. That is Monday, December 5th at noon EST. That's going to be 9 a.m. CST and like, I don't know, 6 p.m. if in your, you're in Europe or something. But uh, don't miss it. It's going to be a good one. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so, so much. Happy holiday season. It's the best time of the year. And um, see you in the next video.